Now, I've been waiting like at least two months before I could get this review done, and this is of the Logitech stuff. Now, I could see that it's two months old now, but I've only, I've had it for about a couple of weeks, maybe three weeks now. But this was meant to be out like two months ago, but anyway, let's just talk about it real quick. So this is a G613 by Logitech, and this is the G603 by Logitech. And have you noticed, well, you haven't noticed, because I haven't really talked about it, but I'm going to now. This is wireless mechanical keyboard, but this is not going to be done in this review. So I'm going to put it to the side. That's what you're going to see in the next one. But we've got the actual, well, not mechanical mouse, but we've got a wireless mouse. This is a gaming mouse. This has got 500 hours of peak, like high performance playtime. And when it's just not being played and you've got it on a lower set, the lowest setting, it goes for 18 months without like with the battery life lasting that long, which is absolutely nuts. It's got a DPI. Now, let me get this right. A DPI of 200 all the way to 12,000 DPI. That means that if you've got a massive, like say like a cinema screen, it will be able to pick up pixels per inch really quickly because of the technology that's involved in this little gaming mouse, which is pretty crazy. If you've got a small screen, it's gonna do it really, really well anyway. It's got a, like a one millisecond response time and all kinds of stuff going on in there. Um, yeah, the, it's got obviously Bluetooth and Hero Next Generation sensor. It achieves up to 12,000 DPI and with 10 times the power efficiency. Well, I'll be the judge of that, but I haven't got like uh, 18 months. That's like a gel sentence to like test this out. And um, yeah, it's pretty crazy. But yeah, it's got loads of stuff in it. But let's get it out of the box so you can have a look. And then uh, we'll talk more about the specifications as we go along. Because there's a lot to cover just about this actual mouse itself. So it's got, I think, if I remember right, it's got a two-year warranty on this uh, mouse as well. So you get a nice little instructions. And it should have an extender cable as well, which is USB. You can obviously download and update firmware and all that sort of stuff. 1000 hertz is the highest setting. 125 hertz is the mediocre setting. And apparently, you can work with one battery. Now, I've tried this with other mouses with different size batteries, and it did work. But this is saying, like literally, le legit, that you can use one battery in it, or you can use two batteries in it. That's, that's just awesome. But anyway, warranty, important safety compliance right there. And then you've got the mouse itself, and it comes with the Duracell batteries, but it hasn't got the, the real, like, cool batteries where you can just hold it down on one side, like on the plus and the minus, and it tells you how much pa battery power's in there. But these are uh, French, so non plus le venti or detail. So these are French batteries, so there should be a bit more chic, a bit more power in it. So I'm just going to put them like that. This mouse is looking very fabulous, very sexy. Apparently, you got 20 million clicks. Now I'm going to right in this video, I'm going to do 20 clicks, and I want 10 million views in 20 clicks. Nah, just just kidding. Right, anyway, the clicks. Right, in my hand. Tell you what, this mouse feels like a like an old school cheaper mouse, but it's not. It's just the ergonomic design of it, it feels really nice. So I'm not left-handed, but this feels nice in the left hand, as you can see. I would have normally quite a few problems doing this with a left hand if I'm not left-handed. And I'm right-handed, and this feels so comfortable in the hand. And let me notice if there's any creaking in it. So there's no creaking whatsoever, so it's quite uh, solid. It's got, let's talk about the clicks quickly. So 20 million clicks on each side, left and right. And it looks like you can hover up because it's a gaming mouse as well. It just feels really nice. It hasn't got the batteries in there, for I, I haven't got the added weight on there. But we've got um, some buttons on the side as well, on the right hand side. And it doesn't feel too much of a finger magnet, but it looks like if you had sweaty palms, it will show up on this actual mouse as well. DPI function button is at the top here, and a nice fat scroll wheel. And it clicks, it's a kind of clicky one, but it's not an actuation where it's the same as the clicking on the left and right clicks. It actually feels a little bit more tougher. You have to press a little bit harder, but not too much harder. The side clicks, you could use your thumb and that. These feel really nice and easy to click. So the actuation is lighter than what it is on the left and right, but not, if I just pick it up, 
and I picked it up quite lightly, it would be all right. If I picked it up a little bit more firmly, I might be able to pick off by pressing the buttons. Underneath, you've got high, which is for obviously the high hertz setting, and obviously the, when you're playing at higher sensitivities and stuff like that, you're gonna notice that the battery is gonna decrease within 500 hours. That's still quite a long time. And then you can play it on low, and then it's 18 months, and then obviously, you can turn it off. That's quite a big difference from 500 hours to definitely 18 months. That's a hell of a lot of difference. You got some. They got two glide feet, and we're going to test the glide feet out. We're going to test this out on the monitor and everything like that. This also works from Windows 7 upwards. I don't know if it works for Windows XP. I would have thought so because it's USB. It could even probably work for Windows. Windows XP, Windows Vista, Windows 98 because it's still a mouse. It's got to be. But if it doesn't then at least it says on the box it works with Windows 7. But anyway, it works with Android 3.2, it works with Mac, and it works with Windows. So it works with everything with, which is newer and stuff. It's got the Logitech logo there, so if you're not into RGBs and colors and stuff as much, then you don't need to worry about that. Uh, it's got an LED indicator for the DPIs, so you can know what speed you're gonna be going, running at. But also, when you're gonna be using the Logitech panel, which is gonna be monitoring the sensitivity and the axis and the pixels per inch, and how many clicks and whatever you've, uh, you basically added up the button. So say that you want this button to do such and such, that button to do such and such, a DPI to go at such and such speed. You could do that in the Logitech panel. Plus you can download all the software and firmware and update this so it works really well. And also on the back there is where you've got your button for your Bluetooth and obviously connectivity, make sure everything's working. And it won't work without obviously needing this as well. This is your USB connector, so it knows where to look for that actual program. So I don't, well, let's take this out at the moment. Oh, I think you take the top off, that's it. Oh my God, how easy was that? Holy, right, okay. I was not expecting that. I was expecting to get my nails broken and lifting the top up, but look how easy that is. That is easy. So. You got a little bit of foam dampening there. Um, this looks really well made. And this is where you can put a left or a right battery in there. So, and it's got these little magnetic, like, well, metal parts. And it's got a magnetic base. So it should have two or three magnetic parts that connects on there. It looks like a little bloody car. It just looks crazy. Anyway, I want to find out, well, this is what we're going to test. The actuation force of how much weight you need to be placing on your uh, left and right clicky fingers we're going to test the sensitivity and everything through the software and stuff like that and uh first off let's put some batteries in there do they all go in exactly the same way wow okay right so that's one battery and you can see there's an led light on there and there's a white led that flashes underneath the bottom down there blue is when it's searching for a device in case that you're looking for um, Android or something like that that's got Bluetooth. And let's put the other one in. And then it goes off. What, what's the point of that? Oh, it's 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 a funny colour. Oh, okay. If you're if you don't like RGBs, well, it's still got the colours kind of like yellow, white, orange, uh, what's that? Orange and purple. I guess you can and yellow. So you can change the colors around, but yeah, this is pretty discreet. I really like it. And then you just literally, oh my God, it's so, it's so smooth. Look at this. And that's on there proper, and then you're ready to go. Right, so that mouse is ready to go. That really does scream premium to me. And uh, we've done quite a few Logitech mouses on the channel, but this just looks, this looks cheap. It looks like I would not want to nick it, but the technology that's in there, not even got the software up yet. Imagine how great that is. Now it does feel a bit more weighty, but the way that the mouse is, I don't know, the ergonomics of it, it feels like it just, it's really flush in the hands. I've got medium to large hands. This feels really nice. I can easily click. I've got the batteries in there. Take one battery out, have less weight, I guess. I don't know, I don't know how it works. It's weird. And this is a USB extender and um, it's got like little rubber feet underneath. It's pretty good quality, USB 2. And it's just the normal plastic cable. It's not, it's not uh, what's the cable, uh, braided. So I would have liked to see more 
braided cable on this, more good quality, USB 3 for more speed because you can connect this up, oh I'm breaking it now, um, yeah I would have liked to have seen more of that, but as well as if you are, for people that don't want, they're, they're professional gamers and they want something that's easy like they can just literally flip that up, take the batteries out and they're ready to rock and roll, let's see how quick I can do that, that's, that's just madness, I can change the batteries straight away, and I'm ready to game. That is so damn quick. Right, so we've got big glide feet. We need to test this on the mouse and pad, a couple of different ones. And on this surface at the moment, which is quite bubbly, it feels really rough, but it's really smooth. And I could do a claw grab quite easily with it. And I could just use my um, left small pinky and I could drag it across the um, table. This is awesome. This is really, really good class. This is really good class. This is a wireless, perfect mouse. As you can see, I've got a CASA um, RGB mat here, and then I've got a wire, a Speedlink um, sort of cloth mat. And we're gonna test between both and which is more suitable for what you should be buying or what you should be using. As you can see, there's no RGBs. But is there any RGBs? There's very, very little subtle RGB. So on there, you've got orange, then purple, blue, yellow, and white, and underneath, you've got white, and obviously blue. I'm gonna drag this over here, so you can see everything on this menu. So on this menu, um, it just shows that this is a little bit slightly different. So on the top here, you can see Logitech Gaming Software, and it's got a green light on there. So at the moment, I've got it on low profile. So on this camera, you can see by the mouse pad, that it's on low, Then if I switch it, it goes to high performance on the actual screen. So low and high, or I can just turn it off and then it's completely off. Please wake me, please wake up or power on your device. It's got a little sleepy emoji face. So let's wake it up. But anyway, what we're gonna do is that we're gonna just, we're gonna test this out on the game as well, cause I should have some games on here. Uh, yes, I do. But anyway, like what we're gonna do, it's gonna have a little play around with it. So you've got automatic game detection like you can on normal, but I don't need that on. Then you go into this, it brings you up more settings. As I said, you can go up to 12,000 DPI and the minimum is 200 DPI. And you can see these lovely highlighted colors and you've got DPI sensitivity levels, which means that you can assign amount of number of DPI presses that you wanna press. So say that you, I'm going to be gaming, you're going to be working, you're going to be doing CAD work, you're going to be doing video production and photos and stuff where you need to be able to be a bit more precise and so maybe a bit of photo um, cutting or whatever, you can actually change the DPI so it's not too fast or too slow. Then you've got general notifications, analytics and then obviously the mouse so you can do the firmware updates the profiles when you want to change different profiles and assign your own uh, profile, persistent profile, profile cycling, uh, AARX uh, control, and it all comes up here when it's all connected through the internet and all that sort of stuff, or you're connecting it to your uh, phone or tablet, and developer if you're a developer and you want to go into that, which I don't need to. And anyway, let's go into like getting the game ready and seeing how well it performs through gaming tasks. But um, we could just do something on the screen real quick. So at the moment, it just feels nice and clicky. That's cool. Let's go display. And then we'll change that one and make that my main one. That's pretty cool. And you should be able to see what I'm doing on here. Now I'm going to play Call of Duty because it'd be pointless trying to play Call of Duty on uh, or Tekken 7 with a, a gaming mouse and keyboard. That'd be quite hard actually. So what we're going to do in this game, we're just going to check for sensitivity and stuff and see if, how great it is because uh, this has been tested by the most professional people on the planet when it comes to games. Keep going! 
So this Logitech mouse is really, really lovely on this mouse pad. Now this is not obviously cloth, this is a light sort of plastic smooth surface. So it'd be very good for surfaces that are like this and obviously like this. And uh, this is more of a cloth one, which I can feel there's more drag to it. But it does work still in the same way, but this is just a lot more smoother. Depends on your own preferences of how you want to use your mouse. Now this is awesome, this is, I love this. This is just, it just flows. Now I can easily hold it just above my finger. As you can see, it's not even, it's just my fingers that are touching the mouse pad. And I've got loads, nice lift, and it's really precise. Now the whole point about buying this gaming mouse is the point is, is that one millisecond means a lot when you're gaming at a professional level. That means that when you need to get headshot or you need to, move really quickly and the sensitivity and the axis and the pixels per inch and the sensor of the uh, mouse and the microprocessor it all comes into play in this one little 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 chassis that's what i'm going to call it it's a little chassis this little thing is absolutely nuts works with batteries and also works with um rechargeable batteries but yeah it's really cool really really cool and it just fits back like a robot DPI is really sensitive and really nice. Oh my God, I've actually lost my DPI. I think I had it on 12,000. Whoa, well that is ridiculously fast. Whoa, all I can say is that's ridiculously fast. All right, so let's slow that down. All right then we can do it really slow at 200 DPI. But anyway, definitely worth uh, getting. Oh, what's the, oh, I haven't checked the website yet. Let me check a website out real quick. Right, so now I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna scroll down this little page on the Logitech webpage by clicking one click into the scroll wheel and just going down and checking the sort of speeds that we can get out of it. It's really sensitive. So that's quite slow. And it can go quite fast as well. Pion, pion. And that's without me touching the buttons. But now I'm going to touch a button. And I'm guessing I can scroll left or right. I've never seen that one before. But there's nothing to scroll left or right on on this page. Uh, using the scroll wheel, it feels quite fat and chunky. It feels premium. It feels like it lasts quite a long time. It feels like a little tire, to be honest with you. But the whole mouse in my hand feels really nice. Anyway, if you like this sort of content, and you like this review on this mouse, don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and all that sort of stuff. Follow me on all social media platforms if you choose to do so. And leave your comments down below. But the next one review is going to be about this mouse, I mean this keyboard. And then I'm going to do a keyboard and mouse can, like together, how it works. Because you can use it, I'm obviously using another keyboard right there. So I'm using a third party like product and seeing how well it works. And it works pretty well. Then I'm gonna obviously use them together because that's the whole point while they're selling the keyboard and the mouse. I think it's going for like 200 pound. But anyway, links in the description down below. Go and buy it if you want to. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.